So I now have a mountain island. I have the start of Guest Island, the Awkward Anteater Island, and uh, whatever this is, all it has is a lion right now. And doing a quick check here, so we can see the compost building has earned me 400 and fifty uh, dollars. Oh cool, Lime Climbing Rock is available. And I'm gonna compare that to my restaurant which is earning me about three thousand dollars a month. As I repeatedly state, restaurants are the way to go. A lot of people like the compost building, um, and it is good, especially for its low initial cost. Like the restaurant costs twenty-two hundred versus fifteen hundred for the compost building, and as the animals poop and the zookeepers clean it up you get more money. Yep. Uh, let me start assigning exhibits. This is going to be key to winning the scenario. Because, as if you'll notice, uh, the animals are going to be pretty spread out. So, if I don't assign zookeepers to exhibits. I could, for instance, have someone trying to heal an injured bighorn sheep and then deciding to go feed the lions. Which would be a huge waste of time and, well, resources. Since, since zookeepers cost $800 a month, I want them working as efficiently as they can during that time. Uh, otherwise, I'm wasting whatever percentage of $800 is spent walking. All right. I am now at the point where I need to start uh, actually focusing on making money. So I think I'll put a primate house here. Ooh, actually, that is a slight design issue. Mm, not going to be able to fit. Insect house should fit. Yep, there we go. So, I can't... Oh, wait. I can't charge for the insect house. I don't know what I was thinking. Where's the... That's the item I wanted. To give the blue ribbon award quality, animal care for providing the highest quality care and treatment for the animals in your zoo. This award comes with a cash bonus of $5,000. Okay, here we go. The animal theater fits, and I will still be able to put a footpath there. Um... How much can I charge? Twelve dollars for the animal theater. I think I can get away with that. Funds are going up. I made money 
in the previous month and I am currently making money this month I also haven't built an exhibit since April so let's see where I am on the scenario I know where I am on the scenario I need average guest happiness of 93 to be fair what I need to do for that is eventually gonna entail replacing all the footpaths um, I'm not using the correct footpaths in the first place because I haven't decided what aesthetic I want now is that a good reason no no it's a terrible reason uh, you should be using themed footpads and decorations the whole time for what I hope are obvious reasons boost your zoo rating boost guest happiness brings more guests in and also is obviously key to winning the scenario and as far as exhibits go we are two bits of the way done exhibits and again we have a compost building that I like checking up on seven hundred fifty dollars hmm where should I build next and what should I build next the answer is an exhibit it's a very helpful answer I could make a saltwater croc exhibit down in the water but I don't think zookeeper can reach it uh, yeah I don't know if I've mentioned it in another scenario or not in order for guests to, to be able to see exhibits they need to be either next to or one space away from animals the, and they must either have a transparent fence which is almost all fences or uh, be lower in the ground however the transparent fences tend to be the cheaper ones so yeah I, I never use a, a uh, depressed exhibit, but it is a valid. Okay, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Gotta point this out. 100 happiness, 100 hunger, 100 health, 100 suitability. This is beautiful. Ah. Okay, moving on. I need a non picky animal that likes flat terrain. Hmm. Let's see. What kind of environment would have just flat terrain? I think deserts are probably pretty flat. And by probably, I mean uh, beyond sand dunes. I can't really think of of uh, oh wow, I messed that up badly. Oh no, I didn't. I forgot which animal I was. I made a mistake on which animal I was in. Uh, any. I can't think of any. 
uh, desert, and what most people consider a desert. Uh, that's not flat. Uh, well, if you actually go by the environmental de uh, definition of desert, yes, there are plenty of deserts that have hills. Alright, wants sand. Given that Arctic and Antarctic tundra are technically desert. All right, that's all the sand it wants. Uh, I want. I know it wants fresh water. Why am I bothering to check that next segment? I I, I do like the touch that um, all animals uh, want fresh water. <clears throat> Which, it's just a nice little attention to detail that animals need to take a drink, and the easiest way to do that is to build a water hole. Alright, rocks, foliage, they like the quiver tree. Chuck quiver in fear before my gems box. Or Gemsbach. I don't know if it's a same name plural or not. Rocks. Really? Hmm. This one's gonna be trickier. Because they don't want enough. Um, the, the only thing I can really do is add another gems box, which then makes the exhibit not big enough. <clears throat> which will mean I will need more sand too much sand okay need some dirt so I actually didn't that actually didn't go too bad they're badly all right now I need a footpath and I guess Zookeeper 1 will handle the gems box for right now. I will also rename it back to... I don't remember what I named it before. I'm going to call it Miners because it's a gems buck. Yeah. I, I had a really, really terrible pun that I could have made there, and I decided not to, and it's probably for the best. Suitability of 85. Just, just run a quick test uh, check here. So I have 94. What do you mean 84? You were just higher than that. Hmm. 
I don't know what's wrong there. Oh, the anteaters. The anteaters need a little more space. Uh, easy enough to do. Uh, let's do quick. Uh, and that should be close to what they need. What do you mean you're unhappy with that? Still not big enough. Oh, it needs more grass and less dirt. Okay. Now it has a suitability of 97. Much better. Lions still have a suitability of 100. Oh no, the happiness is down to 99. Oh, that's why. I missed the ticker that said that the lions gave birth. How are the mountain lions doing? Everyone's doing all right. I may need to change the gems box exhibit. They seem to be too picky. So instead, let's grab a pair of camels. Too much savanna grass, not enough sand, and more importantly, um, still the same exhibit size desired. Not enough sand. Keep up the sand. Uh, let me test their desire for rocks. And they also like the quiver tree, so that's good. Oh, right, the shelter. Oh, the shelter was the issue with the... Mm, I'm, uh... I just, I, I could have just built a lean-to, and that would have boosted it enough. Oh, man, that was dumb. Although it also didn't appear to work. The heck. No, you don't want any more quiver tree. How about a sandbush? Now, hmm, don't want cactus. Oh, okay, so they don't need nearly as much fresh water. How? How does this still have a... Oh, now it has a suitability of 85. Um, I still should probably expand it. I have plenty of room to expand. I currently have one, two, three, four, five exhibits. So I have half the exhibits right now. I should probably hire a second maintenance worker. Oh, shoot! 
Yeah, not gonna waste any time there. Just do. I'm doing a pickup. All right. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. I could have sworn that camels were less picky. I could also have, uh, Uh, I, I don't remember what I was saying now. I was distracted by the monkey bars. And look at this masterpiece of design. The lion rock is exactly as high as the exhibit fence. Fantastic safe design um I'm not entirely sure what's going on with the animal theater Oh, I know what's wrong with the animal theater. Remember, kids, always check where the entrance is before building your structure. That was uh, not smart. And now I'm having trouble finding it again. It's right there. Yeah, it's a side entrance one. Now, I have an animal theater that people can actually get to. So now it should be boosting guest happiness as well as uh, making money. Oh, that 85 suitability. And, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, things that, uh, Things that are on the edge are are uh, often poised to go horribly, horribly wrong at the end. Just because it needs a difference of one. Uh, if it dips down by one point, you can lose at the last possible second. As I have encountered a lot. Did, did its suitability just go down? Oh, man. I have no idea what's wrong. I, I, I just... I just don't. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, so after 
pull, spending all this time on the camels, I may winding up have to having to completely scrap it. Uh, no, I'm definitely gonna have to completely scrap it. I can't afford to. Uh... Um. I can't afford to have one just ready to dip down at any moment. Uh, I'll leave them be for now. Man, I... Hmm... APR, I believe, it went well. Uh, Bengal Tiger. Bengal Tiger all the way. Uh, Bengal Tigers are a popular animal. They're a little pricey. Um... But I usually don't have trouble uh, making them happy. Hmm. <laughs> I think this is big enough. Yeah. The wow is a good sign. Wow means they're happy. Hey. Weird. I could have sworn I saw it flash on the screen for a moment that the uh, exhibit was not big enough. It's dirt. All right, I got another anteater. Which means I can either uh, wait for them to die off naturally or I can sell my older anteaters. Too much gray stone. What do you want? Rainforest floor. Okay. Foliage, rocks, and shelter. Would you like a cave? Yes, you would like a cave. And they like the mangrove tree. Mangrove, mangrove, there. Rotate so I can see what I'm doing. They want a lot of mangrove trees. I mean, it makes sense because they're, uh, they live in, I don't know if it's technically a rainforest or just a forest, 
Um, either way, they uh, use the trees for uh, hunting, using it as uh, camouflage. Or rather, their natural camouflage works with the thick trees and grass.